Hi. Yes, I have a question. My uh, license is up for a renewal, but I'm a little uncomfortable this time. I've been licensed for 20 years. Two years ago, I had to go for court for something, and they were able to print this out. And it has a picture of everything that would be on an abstract. The difference is it has my social security number on it. And I research and find out that's not supposed to happen. The other thing that bothers me is this. Is that your photo? From your yes. Person? And it didn't come from DMV. Who did that come from? That came from the Trenton Courthouse. Okay. And I'm very upset about that. No. Why is my photo being released outside the motor vehicle agency? Well, it's a court. I don't know that they have that kind of court authority. I don't know, honestly. You don't know how they got it? But no, I don't know. I know the police. So I know this is the last, this is the last place I had the photo taken. It's obviously on my license. And I don't know the legal. I looked it up. There's very broad and very, you know, fuzzy information on it. But if we're releasing photos, I mean, is that to say I can take somebody's photo and release it to the public as well? So what I'm starting to see here. That's not the public. The court isn't the public, so I, like I said, I don't know about their access. Um, I can give you a number if you follow. No, I don't need any numbers. That's like I said, I'm here, but here's what I appreciate doing. You look like you're a very helpful person. Is I'm very uncomfortable with this now that I'm seeing this, and I have all my credentials and my six points. I don't want to stand in front of the camera until I get this resolved. I'm very uncomfortable just the fact that this photo was released. Well, in order for us to renew your license, we do have to take it in photo. Because now we have the facial recognition and we have to have a current photo. That's impossible because you issue driver's licenses in the mail. Right. If you do it through the mail, then they'll give you the old photo, but when you come into the agency... You but you have the capability of giving me a license without the photo. I'm just trying to make a compromise here. No, I understand. Otherwise, what the next step that I'm going to do is I want to fill out a fraudulent slip here, a fraudulent complaint. Because even though this is a redacted version, they released the partial, I have the whole social security number, I whited it out for, this is not supposed to happen. So can we fill out a complaint? You want to fill out a complaint? Absolutely. Um, of course, hold on one second. Can we take that? Come over. <laughs> okay, I brought over my manager and I also brought over the officer to explain to you how it works. All right, then I'll step away for just one second. Hi. What's it look? Oh, you're, you're familiar with this? Yes, this is yeah. just paperwork. What, what was the issue? That you, what's your concern? Well, my concern is I'm not comfortable finding my DMV information, my social security number, outside the DMV. Okay. What happens is that's how we're able to run plates. We can run your, we can run your vehicle history stuff. I know like that's, that. that's existing. The Department Dif gets it. Difference is this has my social security number on it. Yes, this, we have this came from. That. So you're saying everybody has their Everyone. social security? Yeah. Outside the DMV, they give it to DMV police departments. Okay, well, police departments and the court system will have access to this. This is what it is. Technically, we're not even supposed to give you this paperwork. Yeah, like, there's a reason why I have it. It's it's mine, first of all. Well, I know, but even it's your paperwork, we're not supposed to give it to the actual Well, person. I understand, but there's a reason for it. Um, yeah, I'm very uncomfortable with this. I want to write a complaint. I think this is considered the same as fraud. Because you see this social security number here? Uh, you know I have a court site. I have a um, under the New Jersey statute. You're not supposed to even. DMV is not even supposed to release that. That's different. That's something the police department. We have access to that information. That's how we run criminal checks on you. If not, okay. we wouldn't be able to do that information. Get that information. All right. We wouldn't know if you were a criminal. We wouldn't know if you were wanted. Well, listen. I appreciate you explaining me why I have this form. But I want to work with the DMV personnel now. I know you're an officer. 
So I'm ready to conduct my business with you. Hi. You are the manager? Yes. No problem. I think there's... The only thing that's an error here is you have the... Uh, you have the social security number mm -hmm. and under New Jersey statute I think it's 1324.13 you to release everything but that I mean we are to release it. you you are not to release the social security numbers of anybody outside the DMV office this, who this come to? this came from the Trenton Municipal Court okay. Uh, they must have gone to DMV then. Well, what the officer was just explaining is that they have access to, he's familiar with this form. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's familiar with the fact they have access to social security mm -hmm. numbers. Right. And, okay, well. Only in situations maybe like this, though, where it's legal, it's court, it's not just. Yeah, but. See, they I, can't even come to me and ask me to pull your stuff because I can't. Well, that may be the case. But I consider this almost the same as fraud. So I want to, I want to put in a complaint to have an investigate why my social security number and this citation here. When I write it down. Restricted use of SSNs under 1321.1.4. It's specifically prohibited from releasing social security numbers outside the DMV for any purpose. Everything else is, including my photograph. Mm -hmm. And under the one state law, I can actually take your photograph if I wanted to and publish it, believe it or not. But that's you between- You can't do it in here. <laughs> well, I'm just letting you <laughs> for know. Example, you could take pictures beyond that. I know what you're saying. Okay, so how do we handle this? I want to write a complaint. Well, so you want to go to the party to the party, which wouldn't be to me because it didn't happen to a, this uh, local agency, like, I mean this agency. Well, you are the holder of these records. Well, the state is. And my complaint is based on the holder of the record. I'm not worried about who got it. I'm worried about the end user. Mm -hmm. Hey, Chris. So we have, we have uh, the DMV has all your information. So state has your information. Well, 